Um, okay, here we go. Here's one. Uh, and this relates to this categorical data thing. This one says, can be used for ordinal, but not nominal data. Let me say that again. Th we're looking at the mode right now. It can be used for ordinal, but not nominal data. So it can be put into like classes like Hmm. Let's remember which one's which. Um, ordinal, ordinal is, is it's non-numerical, but there's an order, hence ordinal, right? Nominal data, it's just random, like colors or musical styles or those kinds of things. Okay? So this is saying one of these can be used when you can have them in order, but you can't use it if it's nominal. Which one do you think can be used? You can talk about medians if there's some order. There has to be some order. You can't talk about the median between uh, blue and brown. Like, where is that, right? But you can talk about the mode. What's the most common eye color in this room? That makes sense. So this one, I'll say it one more time so you can write it now. Can be used for ordinal, but not nominal data. That belongs over here, under median. Okay. These two are right with left them there. I've left this one because the jury's out on that one. Okay. Uh, next one along, okay, I think this one should be uncontroversial. Easiest to determine. Do we think the mode's easiest to determine? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Like you've got to do your addition and division here. This one you've got to do your business about counting along and all that. This one you kind of just count them up. Whichever the most are, you're there. Okay. Um, okay, here's another one. Main, sorry this is a long one, but I, I couldn't work out a way. If you can work out a way to make this more succinct, tell me. May not always be a score that's anywhere near the center of the set. I'll say that again. May not always be a score anywhere near the center of the set. Do we think that's the mode? Yeah. Can someone give me an example of where that might happen? Or how that might happen? Say it again, sorry. Yep. Yeah. May not always be a score that's anywhere near the center of the set. Okay. Jackie? You have like you know, one, two, three, four, five, ten, ten. Right, sure. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 10. Ten's the mode. And it's nowhere near the center of all the rest of the data. So I think we're happy with that one. May not always be a score anywhere near the center. Mm, here's an interesting one. Okay. This one requires us to remember some language we haven't talked about this year yet. It's only day two. Highly consistent when comparing samples. Um, can someone remind me what a sample is? Oh, it's really intended group, not a whole name. Perfect, right. When you take a group, not the whole thing, what's the opposite of a sample then? A census. a census means everyone is included, everyone's included. And a sample is when you just say, well, let's have a look at this class, not the whole school or something like that, okay? So one of these three is most consistent when comparing samples. It's like if I look at this class or that class, it's most consistent. Um, do we think it's the mean or mode or median? It's currently under mode. Samples. samples. Right? So this is the idea that you've got 25 million people, you're like, I can't ask all of them, take me forever, right? So I'll just ask a section, but so long as I pick the section appropriately, I should get consistent results, no matter whether I get this section or that section or that section. What do you think, Mo? Would it be mean? Would it be mean? Why do you think that? Because uh, if you take a sample of one, is it in order, first of all? Is the, is the, is the data set? So it's a great question. Actually, I'm going to throw that question to everyone. When you're talking about a sample, right, are you asking, is the sample in order? Is the census in order so that when you take samples of it, are you getting like lower when you take a sample from here than here? Good question. If we have everyone, right, if we have everyone, is it a good sample if we take them all from like one area and they're all very similar versus another? No, you don't. You, we have a name for that, by the way. That means your sample is not very representative of your whole group. So it, that's the whole point, right? So we think it's mean? If we have representative samples, then the whole point is hopefully they will do this, right? By the way, uh, recent history has given us plenty of counterexamples out because it's really hard to get a representative sample. Um, for example, a few little things like the recent federal election, uh, the Brexit referendum, the US election, all got it wrong, okay? That's because it's quite hard, as it turns out, to get good samples, right? But if you do, the mean is highly consistent. Why is that, by the way? Because the things average out, don't they, right? It's like we look at a class, you've got some above average height people, but they'll be averaged out with the below, average, the shorter people. It makes sort of sense, right? Um, there's a contrast to that. Oh, sorry, Aditya, did you, you say want? That mode again? I will, because we've now moved it, so now you want to write it. It says highly consistent, highly consistent, 
when comparing samples. Um, we have a name for that, by the way. It's called sample stability, um, which makes sense, right? Depending on which sample you look at, you get a stable response either way. Um, there's a contrast to this one. You might guess it's the opposite. I'm just trying to find where it is. Uh, here it is. Varies the most when comparing samples. Varies the most when comparing samples. So this one's saying it doesn't vary much. This one says it does. Which of the three, well, which of the two? You know it's not this one. Which of these two do you think varies the most when comparing? It says varies the most when comparing samples. Hmm. <coughs> What do you reckon, Mo? Uh, the, median has the, the median is listed in order. It mm -hmm. has to be, whereas mode doesn't really have to be. You just have to pick out the most common number. So, so which do you think it belongs? So if you take, if, I'll come to you in a second, Mo. If you take a beginning and an end mm -hmm. from the median, you're going to have a small range of numbers mm -hmm. and a big range of numbers, which is going to be, be a big... Mm -hmm. So before I respond to that, Will, you already said... I mean, if you have a representative sample and you put them all together again, I feel like the middle score, if it's representative, should be the same. But if it's the most frequent, then I feel like that's more likely to change. Okay, I want you to say that again. I don't even want you to change what you said. You don't have to say it exactly. I want you to say it again, but I just want everyone to pay close attention to Will's logic, not just his words. What's he thinking? Take a, like a good representative sample from like from like a median like data set. Mm -hmm. The median should be the same if it's representative, whereas like if it's representative and like it's a mode like type sample, then mm -hmm. there's slightly more likelihood that it could. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you look very small and random. Not bad. Okay, now let's just confirm what Will said, right? And I'll give you an illustration of this, okay? Uh, Will's suggestion is for which one of these varies the most when comparing sample, samples, um, his suggestion is the mode. Okay? Now I think he's correct and I'll give you the example that um, Zaki gave actually just now. Uh, what was it? Something like one, two, three, four, five and then say for the sake of argument you've got two tens. Okay? Now the reason why it's so easy to get a weird mode for something like this, do you agree? It's because there's not many scores, right? If you had like loads more scores, it would be more and more unlikely that you have something unusual like this. In fact, this is more likely to happen when you're deliberately making the sample smaller. Do you agree? Right? So in fact, the smaller you make your sample, the more likely this thing ends up coincidentally just being yeah, fluctuating. Right? I could have just as easily gone to the next room and I could have had the room where it was like that. Look at how the mode has changed. right? Um, but, but think about how the median has changed. In fact, what is the change in the median? Uh, I think it's hardly gone anywhere, yeah. has it? Because right? the middle score is still more or less in the same place. Does that make sense? Okay, fantastic. So, but there wasn't a sample. Well, no, suppose I didn't. It was a sample of a bunch of other scores, right? Like, say I had 100 scores and I just picked out. Seven. I thought, I, thought, I thought it's like, let's say you wanted to pick out a sample of three numbers. You can either take the first three or the last three. So the whole point of getting a sample is to try and avoid, all of this is kind of pointless. Right. That's exactly right. So we want samples to always be representative. If our sample's not representative, then actually none of this matters. <laughs> As all those results showed. Okay. I thought that's why I thought median was the... Makes sense. Do you see where we're going? We're assuming it's a good sample. Okay. All right, uh, that I just moved over? Okay, so that one I just put under median, so you know what, mode, sorry, so you know what to write. Varies the most when comparing samples. The mode is the one that varies the most when you change from sample to sample, and this is, this is an example I just gave. Okay, uh, now, uh, it looks like we're pretty close. We already put these two deliberately under median. You should have two there usually unaffected by outliers, and can be used for ordinal, not nominal data. That means this one, which I just took away from here, is in the wrong spot, and you're going to help me work out where it belongs. It says, it's the only measure that can be used on all categorical data. I'll say that again. One of these measures is the only one that no matter what kind of categorical data you've got, eye color, shoe size, whatever, you can still use this. Which one is it? It's the mode, isn't it? Because it requires no calculation, you're just counting up. Okay? So the mode, I'll say it one more time, is the only measure that can be used on all categorical data.